Now on 4 News Now at 6, March Madness is underway here in Spokane. We have team coverage on our four local teams trying to earn a national championship. Well, it is going to be a wet weekend across the inland northwest, but I'll help you plan around the rain in your first alert forecast. And a major construction project is about to begin in East Spokane. We'll explain how to get around the lane closures on Freya that start on Monday. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. We start with breaking news from the Spokane Police Department. Four people are in jail for kidnapping and beating a woman in West Central Spokane. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Derek has the night off. Officers responded to a 911 call right around 1030 this morning that a woman was screaming on Boone Avenue near Monroe Street. When they arrived, they found her with serious injuries and part of her hair forcibly shaved off. The police arrested four suspects trying to hide in a nearby apartment. They are charged with first degree kidnapping and second degree assault. The victim is in serious condition at the hospital right now. The police department is still working to get a search warrant for the location the suspects were found. Right now we don't have any more information from Spokane Police. We will bring you any new details on 4 News Now and KXLY.com. Well, the Eastern Eagles are in the middle of their first March Madness appearance since the 80s. The Eagles are in Corvallis tonight, taking on the Oregon State Beavers. Here's a look at the score, 27-39. We're down right now, but it's just halftime. We'll see how it goes. We do have highlights coming up, and we'll have them from tonight's game on Nightside starting at 11 o'clock. Let's turn now, though, to WSU, where the Cougs will be facing off against Iowa State tomorrow after that massive comeback against the Drake Bulldogs. Our Alex Crescenti joins us now from Omaha. And Alex, the Cougs are a confident bunch, and they seem ready for anything Iowa's going to throw at them. Yeah, that's right, Kirsten. We were talking to some of the Iowa State players in the locker room earlier today, and they made it clear what their game plan was going to be. Limit the second chance opportunities of Washington State and take away the abilities of the big forwards like Isaac Jones and Oscar Clough. Essentially, take away that size advantage of Washington State. And that's probably the best way to go against the Cougs. We saw Jones absolutely dominate in the paint last night against Drake. He recorded the first double-double in the NCAA tournament game in program history, putting up 20 points and 11 boards. Now, on the flip side, if you take away Washington State's ability to score at the rim, well, that's going to leave the guards and the shooters wide open, and they seem to be relishing the opportunity at being left open by the Cyclones. I just got to continue to be unselfish. Like, I've been getting doubled all year, so I just got to make quicker reads, I guess. They're a really aggressive team on the trap, so I got to make probably the fastest read I'll have to make all season. But I don't think it changes much. Uh, we know what we have to do, and uh, we got to defend, make the right plays, and make the extra passes, and I think we'll be all right. Well, good luck with that. You know, Icy Jones is really good. You know, he makes all of us better. Um, but we do, we do have a good perimeter threat of shooters, so, I mean, you got to kind of, like, pick your poison. I mean, you want the inside to work or you want the outside to work. And I guess it's just going to be a, a tale of, you know, two teams going to battle and war and see which one's going to come out on top. That makes me happy. Uh, <laughs> that makes me happy, honestly. Uh, if they're going to double Isaac, I'm going to have threes. So I know Zay's going to have threes. Andre's going to have threes. So I know, I know all the guards are happy about that. Now, if the three-point line were to open up, the Cougs should be in business. They were 7 of 14 from that range last night in the win against Drake. Now, tip-off against Iowa State is scheduled for just after 3 o'clock Pullman time. A win, and the Cougs will be to their first Sweet 16 in 16 years. That was back in 2008, that Tony Bennett squad. Who for, could forget that? But this program looking to make a bit of history of their own. For now, reporting live in Omaha, Nebraska, I'm Alex Crescenti. 4 News Now Sports. Thank you, Alex. Well, the Gonzaga men made it to the second round, and tomorrow the Gonzaga women start down the road to the championship. The fourth seeded Zags take on the 13th seed UC Irvine Anteaters. Sydney Berger shows us what to expect. The Gonzaga Bulldogs have a lot going for them heading into Saturday's matchup. For one, they have a lot of veterans with plenty of NCAA tournament experience. And the cherry on top for the Zags this time around is that they get to host at least their first round game right in their backyard. 
Gonzaga landed a four seed in this year's tournament, which means they get to host first and second round games in the kennel. Through the last couple of seasons, the Zags have struggled to get past the second round, and playing at home might just be the edge they need. Senior Ivani Jim also says this team plays different than her past seasons. Yeah, I think we have a lot more consistency and like resilience, um, especially in our games. Um, we're not ready to back down when adversity kind of like strikes us and I see my team like getting over that edge even when it does so uh, that's like a characteristic that I think was missing a little bit from last year. The Zags are coming into the first round confident. Tip off against UC Irvine is tomorrow at 4 30. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Sydney Berger for News Now. Thank you, Sydney. Well, the Gonzaga Bulldogs continue their road to the championship tomorrow. They take on Kansas with a trip to the Sweet 16 on the line. Julian Minnesota is in Salt Lake City with the Zags tonight. And Julian, Nolan Hickman talked to you about the secret behind his hot shooting. That's right, Kirsten. For a lot of college basketball players, shooting is all about the flick of the wrist. But for Gonzaga guard Nolan Hickman, it's all about the heat on the feet. never see Nolan Hickman wear the same shoe twice. Everything I wear is clean. Nolan has more than 50 pairs of basketball sneakers in his dorm room in Spokane and even more at his home in Seattle. Since I was little, my parents kept me in Jordans. And when your godfather is Seattle basketball legend Nate Robinson, sneaker culture is a part of your DNA. He was always a shoe fanatic too, so going over to his house, seeing all the shoes and stuff, it was just always an interest to me. There are no superstitions in Nolan's shoe game. He lives by the motto, look good, play good. However I'm feeling that day, it could be a different color, or if I think this, this shoe might look good with this jersey, then yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll switch that shoe. His favorite pair right now? The Sabrina Ones by WNBA All-Star Sabrina Ionescu. The Sabrinas, they, they got my heart right now. They, they've been my go-tos. Nolan is planning to pack enough pairs for a Final Four run. For now, he's taking the tournament one step at a time. You know, I'm going to go out there, play with a different type of edge just because it's March Madness, you know, for sure. But, um, yeah, I'm ready. Now, if Nolan has a good game in a shoe, he doesn't keep wearing it. He retires it and moves on to the next, just like a lot of the teams have to do here at the NCAA tournament. Gonzaga and Hickman, they'll take on Kansas tomorrow, 1215 Spokane time here in Salt Lake City. Should be a fun couple of blue bloods going at it. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Julian Minnesota, 4 News Now Sports. I'm going to need another look at that shoe collection, Julian. I hope you took more pictures or he gave them to you. <laughs> I would like to see that again, too. Oh, my word. Uh, and look at this crazy parking lot, a live look at the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena, where what an upset. 13th seeded Yale defeated 4th seeded Auburn. And I think there were some, some tears out there. Maybe not raindrops, but tears. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, that is, uh, yeah, it was quite a surprise. And right, I could hit a nine iron into that uh, <laughs> parking lot from here. And uh, they are going to get a little rain as uh, they're milling about Spokane. Here's a broader view of the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena. And look at the horizon. Now, a lot of what you're seeing there is Virga, uh, precipitation not reaching the ground. And it is absolutely dry right now in Spokane. Ooh, look, the, a quick aside, the motor coaches driving around Spokane, they are posh. <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. And they're full of six and a half, seven foot tall people. Uh, regardless, we are going to see some rain moving into Spokane. Here's our Doppler radar right now, and we're seeing some of that precipitation around Cheney, Medical Lake, and moving into the Spokane area right in downtown. We're dry right now, but that will not be the case for long because this is moving to the north and east. A little broader view on what's going on with our precipitation, and we're seeing some scattered showers across the region that will continue to move through our region through the evening and into the overnight. On Saturday, we also have a good chance of showers, but also some pretty good long breaks, it looks like as well. Here's a look at your Saturday planner. A chance of rain throughout the day, but I think right now the best chance is going to be through the early morning and then a break mid-morning into the early afternoon and then more showers in the evening. That high temperature of 49 is a 
10 degree drop from today, but we're just about average. 51 is our average high. I will be back in just a few minutes to take you hour by hour through tomorrow's rain with our computer model help you plan those breaks and tell you about a little bit of snow for Sunday morning. That's coming up in just a few minutes, Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. Well, we now know the name of the teenager who was shot and killed at an apartment complex in Spokane Valley earlier this month. According to the medical examiner, 16-year-old Nathaniel Byers died from a gunshot wound to the head. Investigators say Byers, along with another man, went to the Ponderosa Apartments to meet with two other people. Deputies say drugs may have been involved. An argument escalated and Byers and two of the adults were shot. All three were taken to the hospital where Byers later died. The status of the other two is still unknown. Well, the Idaho prisoner who escaped from transport early Wednesday morning along with his accomplice are suspected in two murders in our area. The Idaho State Police say they believe Skylar Mead and Nicholas Umfenauer escaped the prison in Boise and drove north in a stolen Honda Civic. Investigators say they drove all the way to Julieta, where they came across 83-year-old James Monty, who was walking his dogs. They say Monty and his two dogs and his Chrysler Pacifica were taken and driven east toward Leland. That's where investigators recovered the stolen Honda Civic and the body of James Monty. That same day, investigators Investigators were called to a home outside of Orofino where they found the body of 17-year-old Gerald Don Henderson. They also found prison shackles and Monty's two dogs. Yesterday, police found Monty's Pacifica at a home in Filer, just outside of Twin Falls. Mead and Umpenauer had already left the home in separate cars. Both were pulled over and they are now arrested. At least 40 people died in an alleged terrorist attack in Russia. Which terrorist group is claiming responsibility? Coming up. A partnership with Thrive International and the Spokane Public Library is creating 40 new affordable housing units right here in North Spokane. Coming up, how soon you'll be able to sign up for one of these spots. Starting next Monday, intersection between Thor and Freya might get a lot busier because of the construction. I'll tell you the best way to avoid the traffic. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. 4 News Now, Road to the Championship, is brought to you by North Idaho Urology. Don't settle for the screen, see it in your space. At Floor Trader, you'll find more samples and more selection in one place. With big box prices and small town service, this weekend at Floor Trader, we'll install your new carpet for free. Choosing countertops is one of the biggest decisions that you make during a kitchen remodel. And my husband and I thought that we would have to go to Seattle to find what we wanted. A friend recommended that we try Granite Concepts in Lewiston, and the people at Granite Concepts were amazing. They were friendly and straightforward and helped us find exactly the countertops that we wanted. Granite Concepts. Beauty set in stone. At Just Between Friends, you'll find everything you need for your family. It's all here. I've been shopping in JBF since my kids were little, and we just love it. It's the one-stop shop for everything that you need for your kids and your grandkids. And I'm a first-time mom. I got a lot of clothing, shoes. I got a changing table. It's been a lot of fun. Such a blessing to be able to shop, sell, and save at JBF. This has been a game-changer for our family. Just Between Friends at the Spokane Fair and Expo Center. Buenos dias, I'm Eddie Garcia and we're building this house. Hey, I'm Tanya Galvez, I work at Par Lumber. And we supply Eddie with all the materials he needs. Par, your total home building source since 1930. Go where the builders go. What, what are, are you, you gonna, gonna build? build? It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get $5,000 total value on Silverado LTZ and High Country models when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Or during Chevy truck season, get as low as 0.9% financing in all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. How does free college or training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant gives eligible people money for certificate programs, job training, apprenticeships, or college. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. 
Don't settle for the screen. See it in your space. At Floor Trader, you'll find more samples and more selection in one place. With big box prices and small town service, this weekend at Floor Trader, we'll install your new carpet for free. Starting Monday, you may need to plan some extra time for your commute. Four intersections between Thor and Freya bring major traffic into Spokane, and the city wants to rebuild those intersections and make it safer for drivers. The project will cost $4.3 million. Construction will begin with the second avenue between Thor and Freya, then move to the third avenue between Thor and Freya, and then some business owners right in that area say that they're not happy about this construction plan. Peter Choi has more details about the project tonight. Peter, how will it impact those local businesses? Well, very much so. The, well, the technical is behind me. The, that intersection behind me is a second in Thor. And it's starting Monday. Take a look at this. This road right here will close and cause major detours for drivers. And local businesses tell me they are concerned that customers may have a hard time finding their way to stores. Not looking forward to this uh, this coming year either. That was Tyler Cossey. He's the owner of Guest Palm at the corner of Thor and Third Avenue. It depends on the flow of the traffic, how bad the construction was, but at the peak, I mean, we were maybe even closer to 30% down in sales. Losing customers is all too familiar for him now because of a past construction project. Our main traffic comes off the freeway, and when you see construction on an exit, we don't get that through traffic stopping to get gassed by snacks. A nail salon near the expected construction site is not ready for another headache. A lot, we lost a lot of customers because they cannot find a way to come to our nail salon. We thought about doing it last summer. We gave, we gave that area a break and are coming back and doing those intersections this year. Drivers will have access to Thor and Freya Street, but with only one lane. Freya and Thor on 2nd, which is just on the north side of the interstate. So that westbound um, off-ramp um, from I-90 will be closed during the 2nd Avenue work. After 8 to 10 weeks, 3rd Avenue between Thor and Freya, and then I-90 eastbound off-ramp will be closed as well. Drivers have a three detour options, exit at Broadway, Sprague, or Altman Street. Has to be more intelligent about it and think of the local businesses. And now the construction is expected to end at the expected to finish at the end of July. The city anticipates heavier traffic next Monday, so plan ahead. Get out the door earlier for your commute. Live in Spokane tonight, Peter Choi, for Now. Thank you, Peter. We have at least a chance of rain throughout the day on Saturday. However. Late morning, early afternoon, we'll get some pretty good breaks. Plenty of time to walk a dog or go for a jog. I will be back with your seven-day forecast and tell you about the possibility of a little light snow Sunday morning. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now, Road to the Championship, is brought to you by Northwest Specialty Hospital. Hey, Lainey, when is the baby coming? <laughs> Very, very soon. Dad, what about yours? You're gonna... Yeah, okay, well... Hi. Auto Nation gets it. Your life is constantly on the move. Going from one place to another. And after that, guess what? Yeah, you keep going. That's why we do our part to keep you on the go. Now at AutoNation Toyota, drive a new 2024 RAV4 for just $4.44 a month. Or lease a new Toyota Camry for only $2.97 a month. Go to AutoNation Toyota today. What drives you drives us. Well, I think the great thing about BECU is we really go out of our way to try to help our members live their best financial lives. When you hear the successes and see people say, when I started here, I came in and I worked with one of your people and they totally turned my whole life around. I was able to purchase a home, send my kids to school, things that I never thought I'd be able to do. And those are success stories. Those are the things we love to hear from our members, being able to help them just uh, live their best financial lives. We love being a part of where we live. Right now, countless American women are facing medical conditions without even knowing. Silent threats. And that's why next week, GMA with a vital breaking new health series for women. Watch this only on Good Morning America. 
PB. PB and J? PB before we go. P before we go. P before we go. <laughs> huh. See you tomorrow? Yeah. Are sunglasses too dangerous to wear while driving? Next in Sun Edition, she lost her eye in a car accident. It has literally shredded the inside of my eye socket. The warning she wants everyone to know about, wearing sunglasses and driving. Then, the little coach. Let's go! How he's inspiring the basketball team. Come on! Watch the next in Sun Edition. Watch 4 News now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. It looks like this rain is just gonna leapfrog right over the arena. It must know that we have guests in town and it's gonna spare them a soggy walk to their hotels. We see a lot of Virga on our downtown sky cam. The radar shows this precipitation just sort of skirting by to our west here in Spokane. We've had some rain in Medical Lake, Cheney, rain at Airway Heights, uh, but right here in downtown, uh, we are dry as well as in Spokane Valley all the way over to Post Falls and Coeur d'Alene. High temperatures today were running uh, above average. 58 in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, down from 70 on Sunday. We've been slowly cooling down. Now we're going to have about a 10 degree drop tomorrow. Uh, we'll be in the 40s, but these temperatures are actually closer to our average high of 51, 49 in Spokane, 48 degrees in Coeur d'Alene, quite a bit cooler up in Sandpoint, 42. Here are four things to know about your weather. We have rain showers on the way for Saturday with some breaks, high temperatures in in the 40s with mountain snow, valley rain. However, we have the possibility of some valley snow Sunday morning. The closer it gets to Sunday morning, the more it looks like in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, it will be a rain snow mix. Maybe you'll see some non accumulating snow, but most of the accumulating snow will be in the northern valleys and it won't amount to much. Forecast radar, I'm going to start off Saturday morning at 7 a.m. with a good chance of rain through the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area up through the Northeast Mountains and North Idaho. We start to dry out a little bit, but there's at least a slight chance of showers throughout the day. Here's 7 o'clock on Saturday. Then overnight Saturday, we'll start to see that snow uh, creeping down into the valleys around Sandpoint, Bonners Ferry, Colville, and Republic. More snow for Sunday morning. Here's 8 a.m. Could see some around the Coeur d'Alene area, particularly from about 2,000 feet and above. And then as we go through the day Sunday, hit and miss showers by Sunday evening. A lot of that wet weather will be down on the Palouse. Right now, these are our odds of an inch of snow or more. Only 10% chance in Spokane. It goes up to 30 in Coeur d'Alene, 50 in Sandpoint. But Bonners Ferry, we're at 60% for a chance of an inch or more or snow of snow. More likely, we'll be looking at a tenth of an inch, maybe a trace around Spokane. Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Here's a look at your planning forecast. So showers on Saturday. Sunday will be cooler with a high of 44 and we're going to start the day off at 33 degrees. Now we get even cooler for Monday morning. So depending on the timing on any showers, we could see a little bit of snow there as well. But I don't anticipate any accumulating snow. More rain off and on through next week. We certainly need it. And that is going to translate into at least high mountain snow every day. So so we're still we're at the very tail end of our snowpack building days so we can take all the moisture we can get and I know that winter wheat is going to enjoy it as well. I'll be back in the next half hour with your ski report. Still a lot of good skiing to be done Kirsten. Get there while you still can. Thank you Chris. More affordable housing is headed to Spokane. The Spokane Public Library and Thrive International are partnering to create a new building that will house both refugees and Spokane residents. It's a crucial time to create more affordable housing. Bronte Sorotsky explains how it'll work. This new housing community in North Spokane will ensure that both current residents and refugees will have a safe and affordable place to live in the city. 
While it may not look like much right now, there really hasn't been much interest in the land because there's a sewer pipe that runs down the middle of it. This 1.62 acre lot of land will soon house hundreds. This land owned by the library has been empty the last 10 years. Not wanting it to go to waste anymore, they reached out to Thrive to see if there was a way it could help them. So currently Thrive is housing about 200 refugees. Thrive also has 40 still on a wait list and 120 refugees currently looking for permanent housing. This empty land could be part of the solution for these refugees and people already in Spokane. You know, if you think about it, this is going to benefit over 100 residents in the community uh, with an affordable model, uh, which is really a huge need in the community. Half of the spaces will be given to refugees with the other half open to the general public. This shared space will hopefully make it easier for these refugees to get to know their new city and have an easier adjustment to America. So there's so many things for them to learn. And so for them to be near people who have experience in America who can help guide them. There's a lot Spokanites can learn from these refugees too. I think it's very important for people who have been here to see and experience the struggles that refugees have to go through. The new space will also include a public event in learning space, a playground, a greenhouse, all which will be open to the public. Now, construction on this is expected to wrap up sometime in 2025. We'll be sure to keep you updated on the progress of this new housing project. Reporting in Spokane, Bronte Sarotsky, 4 News Now. Still ahead at, at six, rather, billions of dollars will help schools repair across Idaho. How much is coming to Post Falls and Coeur d'Alene districts? And an answer to why Britain's Princess Catherine has been out of the public eye. That's next on 4 News Now at 6. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Kylie and I know there's a lot of great choices for new and pre-owned cars in North Idaho. And we want Parker Subaru to be your first choice. Not only do we have a great selection of Subarus, we have an award-winning service center, now open seven days a week. Because we are committed to keeping you satisfied long after the purchase. Visit us online at parkersubaru.com or stop by and visit us at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Celebrate the Subaru A Lot to Love event now through April 1st at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Four News Now on the road to the championship. I'm Julian Minnesone, and I'm heading out with the Zags. I'm Alex Grisetti. I'll be with my alma mater, Washington State. Live coverage, behind the scenes access. Four News Now, Road to the Championship is sponsored by Northwest Specialty Hospital. The Rock Rollers Club of Spokane proudly presents the Gem, Mineral, and Jewelry Show March 22nd through 24th at the Spokane Fair and Expo Center. Over 40 dealers will be selling gems, jewelry, crystals, and lapidary supplies. See outstanding displays of gemstones, fossils, and minerals. Enjoy children's activities, gem cutting demonstrations, hourly door prizes, and more. Tickets available at the door with cash or credit card. The 63rd Annual Gem, Mineral, and Jewelry Show March 22nd through the 24th at the Spokane Fair and Expo Center. At Jewelry Design Center, we want to be your jeweler for life. We're the largest independent diamond supplier in the Northwest, bringing you the best quality, the best care, the best diamonds at the best and lowest price first. Experience unrivaled expertise at any one of our locations. We're a family business with one goal, to be your jeweler for life. Jewelry Design Center, since 1977. Honda you want is here, so drive in the moment with the versatile CRV or Accord. Both named a Car and Driver 10 Best. And when you drive a Honda, you're driving with the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Spokane's hottest music. Break me fun, so done with you, Hot 96.9. Par. Family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you going to build? Around the world tonight, we do want to warn you, some of the video you're about to see is difficult to watch. At least 40 people are dead and 100 others are hurt 
because of an alleged terrorist attack at a concert hall in Russia. Witnesses claim people in camouflage shown in this video burst through the ground floor of this concert hall in Moscow and started shooting. After that, according to Russian state media, the attackers threw a grenade or a bomb, which started this fire that engulfed most of the building. Russian officials say that the fire caused part of the building to collapse. And some video shared online that we are choosing not to show on TV. Out of respect to the victims, you can see people running past bodies trying to leave the concert hall. The White House releasing a statement following the attack. Uh, the images are just horrible um, and uh, just hard to watch. And our thoughts obviously are going to be with the, the victims of this terrible, terrible shooting attack. The White House also says as of now, there's no indication that Ukraine was involved. The terrorist group ISIS is claiming responsibility, but the group did not provide any evidence to support that claim. Earlier this month, the U.S. Embassy warned about a potential terrorist attack. Officials also warning Americans at the time to avoid concerts and crowds. Mystery and conspiracies surrounding Britain's Princess Kate have now been put to rest with her announcement that she is being treated for cancer. The princess revealing her diagnosis in a video saying it was discovered during a different surgery back in January. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. The palace is asking for privacy, saying Kate will return to her public duties once her medical team has cleared her. School districts across Idaho could get millions of dollars to help with much needed repairs. Coming up, how much money could be coming to the Coeur d'Alene and Post Falls school districts? And the family of the four people murdered by a man in Kellogg ask the judge for justice, what they want after the break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Okay, guys, have a great day. Don't forget you have soccer after school. Bye, Mom. See our huge selection of Highlanders built for everyday drivers at Parker Toyota in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. The wall-to-wall -wall sale at Furniture Row has been extended, and that means every sofa, dining table, and bed is still on sale. Find sofas with clean contemporary styling to laid-back premium comfort, dining tables with rustic farmhouse charm, to sophisticated polished marble tops, beds with retro industrial style, and two-tone cottage charm. Save up to 50% on select Temper Adapt mattresses, plus five years no interest financing. The extended wall-to-wall -wall sale at Furniture Row ends soon. So you want somewhere to play, we got you. A nice, relaxing stay, we got you. Want to be entertained, we got you. Want to play golf all day, we got you. Go to Lake Casino, the winning is just the beginning. So you're looking for something to do, we got you. Want some tasty food, we got you. Heard you want to do some shopping, we got you. The live music is always popping at the Go to Lake Casino. News now on the road to the championship. I'm Julian Minnesota, and I'm heading out with the Zags. I'm Alex Grisetti. I'll be with my alma mater, Washington State. Live coverage, behind the scenes access. For News Now, Road to the Championship is sponsored by North Idaho Urology. Spokane and North Idaho's country leader. Drink a watermelon moonshine. Oh, Lord, when you raise the big 99.9 Coyote Country. It's here, it's now, the Grand National RV Show at r, &R RV North Spokane, March 14th through the 23rd. Shop over 140 RVs inside the West Coast's largest indoor showroom. Motorhomes, camper vans, fifth wheels, and trailers. The time to buy is now. The Grand National RV Show, March 14th through the 23rd, indoors at r, &R RV North Spokane. Special show pricing, giveaways, and food vendors on site. Visit rnrrv.com. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. One of the 
the best traditions of college sports is, of course, the band. They're the hype factor for every college team. But we learned today one of the school's bands was unable to travel with their team to Spokane for March Madness. So a local band is stepping up. Jordan Smith has the story. Well, Yale's marching band was unable to travel with their squad here to Spokane, but then U of I's band heard about that, learned the fight song, got on a bus, and is here in Spokane to represent the Yale Bulldogs. Are you guys ready for March Madness? Yeah! Bulldogs band sounds and looks a little different today. We got a call from our athletics department on Sunday saying, hey, Yale's band couldn't make it. Would the University of Idaho Vandal Band like to step in? And it just worked out where we could come up and play. The sound of Idaho got to work, quickly learning the Yale fight song ahead of their battle with Auburn today. We got the music this morning, so I mean, we learned it, and I think we sound pretty good. They loaded up on the bus and hit the road, gearing up for one of the biggest venues in college sports. It's a cool opportunity, and it's cool that like, we were chosen out of all the other bands in the Pacific Northwest. So, And it's, all, it's always cool helping out another school. The Vandals even looked the part today, trading their Vandal gold for Yale blue. But there were subtle cameos of Vandal pride today. You know, we're sneakily representing U of I, though. We're here to help our friends from Yale. But we might write a few new lyrics to the Vandal fight song. Because of NCAA regulations, I couldn't film the band inside the arena. So they gave me a sneak peek of what the fans could expect. Masking the Vandal fight song with some Bulldog pride. Another illustration of what makes March Madness so special. In Spokane, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now. So much fun. Thank you, Jordan. And because Yale won today, the Idaho band is sticking around and they will be here Sunday to support the Yale Bulldogs. If you're going to the tournament or really doing anything around downtown Spokane this weekend, you're going to want to prepare for a very different scene. The podium is hosting the Pacific Northwest qualifier and one Spokane stadium is hosting several soccer games, including Spokane Velocity. Parking is definitely going to be more difficult and more expensive. I feel like you could apply the same rules that you would apply when we have a big snowstorm and you have to get to work. Just take extra time, take it slow, be mentally prepared that it's going to take you a little bit longer to find parking. And before you arrive, keep in mind that the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena has a clear bag policy, so you will be limited to one clear bag, no larger than 14 by 14 by 6 inches, or you can bring a small, very small clutch <laughs> when you're considering what to bring. Keep in mind that there are plenty of opportunities to buy food and drink inside the venue. And for more information, you can head to our website, kxly.com. Well, there is a look at the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena right now. Very exciting times going on there this weekend. Let's take a broader view and see this spectacular sky. Uh, we had showers headed right toward us and they have been evaporating before they've been reaching the ground. We've had a couple of sprinkles here in downtown Spokane, but I see some blue sky peeking out from there. We have been quite fortunate. Here's a look at our Doppler radar. You'll notice some lightning strikes there at the bottom of your screen. We did have some thunderstorms develop over the Blue Mountains and uh, track down around the Pomeroy area just south earlier today, but nothing made it into the Pullman area, but we have had some showers, some very light rain around Spokane right now with more showers on the way. Here are four things to know about your weather. We have rain showers on the way for Saturday with high temperatures in the 40s. We're going to drop about 10 degrees for tomorrow. I think you'll notice that mountain snow and valley rain, but some valley snow Sunday morning. I'll talk more about that. Plus have your ski report let you know how much snow is going to be piling up in the mountains. That's coming up in just a few minutes. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. Well, police are searching for the person responsible for shooting and killing a man in northeast Spokane. Police were called to the area of Thor and Cleveland early this morning. That's where they found a man on the sidewalk with a gunshot wound. Officers tried life-saving measures as they called for an ambulance, but the man died just a short time later. The victim's name has not been released. 
The man who pleaded guilty to second degree murder for killing a family of four in North Idaho is being sentenced Monday. Major John Kaler faces a minimum sentence of 10 years in prison and a maximum sentence of life in prison. Marissa Rio shares what family and friends of the victims had to say ahead of sentencing. Major John Kaler killed this family, Kenneth and Kenna Gardapi and Devin and Aiken Smith. Several family and friends wrote victim impact statements describing what the family meant to them and why Kaler deserves to spend the rest of his life behind bars. Handwritten letters included descriptions of the heart-wrenching pain Kaler's actions have caused. Kenna's cousin writing, I now spend the rest of my life holding on to only a memory and navigating a grief I never thought possible. Letters described Kenna as a hard-working single mom, Ken a loving grandpa, and Devin and Aiken, two teenage boys who still had an entire future ahead of them. Kenna's mom wrote, I haven't seen or heard or touched my kids in nine months. I feel he deserves life behind bars because I feel like I've lived my life like that every day. And several others who miss Ken, Kenna, Devin and Aiken echoed that same message. The boy's other grandpa saying, he needs to spend the rest of his sorry life in prison, never to see the outside of the prison walls because he could do the same to some other family. He must pay. Of the 12 letters sent in, one was addressed to Kaler specifically. Ken's brother acknowledged that Kaler told police he was upset that Devin exposed himself to his young daughter and he quote snapped. In his letter he asked, did you snap when you loaded two magazines to the maximum with ammunition? Did you snap when you strapped on a semi-automatic pistol? He continued, did you snap when you confronted them and continuously pulled the trigger until both magazines were empty? He ended by asking Kaler, you say you were protecting your children, but let me ask you, who is protecting them now? All you did was traumatize them. Kenna's aunt wrote in acknowledging those who say Kaler is a good father for protecting his kids, but she said a good father would not murder other children or leave their own children without their sole provider. Kaler's sentencing is scheduled for 1 p.m. on Monday. We will continue to update you with any new information as soon as it becomes available. Reporting in studio, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now. Thank you, Marissa. Lawmakers in Boise have approved a bill that will invest $2 billion over the next 10 years for school facilities across the state. During Idaho Governor Brad Little's State of the State address, he made it clear that the funding for school repairs was priority number one. We've all seen the pictures and the videos of some Idaho schools that are neglected, crumbling, leaking, falling apart. In one school I visited, raw sewage is seeping into a space under the cafeteria. The bill made it out of the Senate yesterday with a 23 to 11 vote. If signed into law, a new fund will be created that will allocate money to districts based on average daily attendance. School districts could choose to take the money in a lump sum or annually. According to estimates from the governor's office, Coeur d'Alene Public Schools would receive about $36.7 million and Post Falls School District would get about $23.2 million. Governor Little released a statement applauding lawmakers saying, together we secure the largest ever investment in school facilities funding in state history while giving families back more of their hard-earned money with property and income tax relief. A calculation error on FAFSA could further delay some students' financial aid packages. According to the Department of Education, the error impacts several hundred thousand financial aid forms. This could delay students' ability to choose which college they can afford to attend. It is just the latest complication to the FAFSA process this year. Typically, colleges send financial aid award letters to students in March and then request a decision by May 1st on whether they plan to enroll in the fall, and many colleges include including Gonzaga and Whitworth, have already delayed this timeline because of these problems with FAFSA. 4 News Now, we'll be right back. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Par, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you going to build? If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2024 Subaru Outback shares your spirit with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive and up to 32 miles per gallon. Plus, 97% of Outback vehicles sold in the last 10 years are still on the road today. The 2024 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you.
Drive with 1.9% financing during the Subaru A Lot to Love event at AutoNation Subaru. We love our house, but lately we've been feeling a little cramped. So we talked to ICCU about a new home loan. The process was super quick, and we got a really great rate. We start house hunting tomorrow. Preferably something with a bigger garage. Support low-income, at-risk youth by investing in their future. Join me, Molly Allen, along with Ken Witter and special guest speaker Levi Horn for the annual Northeast Youth Center's Building Brighter Futures fundraiser. All children deserve a safe place to be a kid. At the Northeast Youth Center, the staff provides a positive, secure, engaging environment for kids to thrive. Join us to learn more about the Northeast Youth Center. Lucky you. Ironstone Furniture and Fire has everything you need to furnish your home, including custom made and one of a kind furniture. Now on sale. Visit our family owned furniture store today. Ironstone Furniture and Fire in Coeur d'Alene. Next ET, we're in London for the latest royal family drama. Plus, Justin Hartley mixing work and play with wife, Sophia Pernis. God, I'm so good. <laughs> I'm so good. Next ET. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. It's time to be bold! Idol's final auditions are here. Sky's the limit. With an idol performance that will change lives. I am in shock. Forever. We forgot one little thing. <laughs> American Idol, new Sunday on ABC. One of Spokane's longest standing barber shops is closing down. Dan's Barber Shop on North Monroe is closing its doors at the end of the month. It is one of the last old school barber shops here in Spokane. The barbers inside tell us the family who owns the property is planning on selling it in the near future. They opened their doors on Christmas Eve in 1957. And for more than six decades, locals have come here and enjoyed a fresh cut. They were treated to excellent service and a famous cat. Some customers have been going there since they opened their doors 66 years ago. We got guys been coming there since we opened up, you know. They come here when they were kids and now they're 50 years old, you know. At one time when I was cutting there, we had five generations of family come in. Grandfather, great-grandfather, son, son, you know, all the way down to great-grandson. I like all came at the same time for a haircut. It was kind of neat. It is really neat. The shop's last day will be next Saturday, and it always makes me sad to hear that something that's been around for so long would be going goodbye. I know. So many good memories mm -hmm. there. Well, you did not make it up skiing this season, I and I'm going to give you a pass <laughs> with the whole, you know, having a baby having thing. Having a baby thing. Right. Uh, so, but hopefully we can tempt you up there uh, next year. And the party continues at our ski resorts. Here is a look at the ski report. We haven't had any snow over the last 24 hours. However, there's some coming tonight and more coming tomorrow and more coming on Sunday. And boy, you can go skiing just about any day next week and you'll find some fresh snow. All of these local ski areas are having their season pass deals. Now is the best time to buy a season's pass. If you have plans to ski next year, sit down. And if you if you look at the books, it works out. If you ski much at all uh, to buy your season passes and do them at the end of this ski year. 49 degrees north, extending their seven day a week schedule. Uh, so you'll be able to continue doing that. And Additionally, I wanted to tell you that spring break is coming up and a lot of mountains have deals for kids during spring break. Something to keep in mind. Let's take a look at our ski resort.
forecast of by tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Little bit of fresh snow overnight. I want to point out Schweitzer is going to be the big winner in this particular weather pattern. The way that this moisture is coming in really favors uh, the Schweitzer Basin for snowfall totals. So you're going to see that number jump while the others going to get some fresh snow, just not quite as much. By Sunday, first chair, three inches at 49 at Mount Spokane, a little bit at Lookout Pass, some at Silver, but could have a foot of new snow at Schweitzer uh, waiting for you to carve up. And with cool temperatures, uh, it should be fairly light in the morning and then get a little thick as we get into the afternoon. This is all courtesy of an area of low pressure out here in the Pacific that is going to be making its way inland through the day tomorrow, sending us occasional waves of precipitation, but really favoring the upslope areas of the Northeast Mountains and North Idaho. And to a lesser extent, the central panhandle will get a Bit of a break Saturday evening with more wet weather coming in overnight into Sunday morning in the form of snow. Meanwhile, tomorrow's high temperatures around the region will be in the 40s and 50s, and these numbers are right about average. We've had a solid week of above average temperatures and three days of record breaking temperatures. Uh, so we're back in the back in the ballpark of what we would expect in March in the inland northwest, and that's where we're going to stay through the seven day forecast. But Sunday, we're going to take a little bit of a dip. I'm hoping my seven day forecast shows up here. That's kind of my grand finale. Uh, go check my computer. I got problems here. Um, but in that seven day forecast, which I am going to just do this and pull up, uh, you will see that there is at least a chance of wet weather through the seven day forecast, Kirsten. The fireworks. Uh, yes. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Took a while for that to maybe I, I have it's to live TV, everybody. Find out what the deal is there. Thanks. Keeps everybody watching. Thanks, Chris. Here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup tonight. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get $5,000 total value on Silverado LTZ and High Country models when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Or during Chevy truck season, get as low as 0.9% financing in all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. It's Coeur d'Alene Casino's Core Stars Entertainment Series. 38 Specials Timeless Blast of Southern Rock Hits. Live Thursday, April 18th. Damn straight. Don't miss Scotty McCreary, one of country music's biggest stars. Live Thursday, May 2nd. It's No Holds Barred Entertainment at King of the Cage. Featuring upcoming MMA stars on Thursday, June 13th. Visit CDACasino.com to buy your tickets now and check out the full Core Stars lineup. Winning is just the beginning. The idea of owning a home was a really big dream of mine. It felt kind of like a pipe dream. When I think of a mortgage advisor, I think of someone who is stuffy, not approachable or friendly. But then we went to BECU and I met Lauren. She was like, this is what we're going to do. This is how you make it happen. This is how you buy a home. And it wasn't scary or overwhelming. Watching my daughter grow up in a home that we own is amazing. My mortgage advisor changed my life and my family's life. Are you struggling to get through the day? Are you experiencing chronic pain, burning, numbness, and tingling in your hands or feet? Pay attention, because you are probably experiencing peripheral neuropathy. The most common symptoms are numbness, burning, muscle cramps, and problems with balance. Neuropathy is treatable, and our office can help. It's time to get real results. Pick up your phone and call us right now. If you're one of the first 25 callers, you'll receive a free nerve damage screening. This nerve damage screening will tell you if you're at risk for serious nerve damage and if you're qualified for our cutting-edge treatment program to stop the nerve damage. Don't wait until it's too late and your symptoms get so bad that you lose your freedom and are restricted to a wheelchair, walker, or need amputation. Call now to be one of the first 25 callers to receive a free nerve damage screening. Hurry, call now to find out if you qualify for our free nerve damage screening and see how we can change your life. It's time to feel better. Call today. 
Save your green! Well, it's Friday, and that means it's time to take a trip on the Air 4 drone. This week, we are soaring above a dam that's been powering homes in Ponderay County for decades. Let's go for a ride above the Boundary Dam in this week's Air 4 Adventure. Uh, we're at Boundary Dam uh, by Medellin Falls in Ponderay County. A boundary was built in, uh, in the 60s. Uh, it took four years to build. It started generating in September the 1st of 67. The dam uh, was put on here to provide hydroelectric power for the city of Seattle. Right now it's providing about 54% of the generation that city uh, city of Seattle has. Right now we're putting uh, about 117,000 cubic feet per second you know, th over the spillways and through the plant. The best view, I think, is uh, by going up uh, towards Canada to the, the border and you come up to the Vista House up on the, the hill up, up there and there's a nice little platform. To, a great place to uh, get a good view of the, uh, of the spill. The Vista House itself has uh, some displays inside of it. Could tell a little bit about the history. Seasonal, it's open between uh, Memorial Day and uh, Labor Day. It is spectacular. There's a lot of power in that water. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Is your car scratched or damaged after the winter weather? Visit American Way Collision Center to get your vehicle summer ready. With over 60 years of experience, their employees make the quality difference. Come visit American Way Collision Center on Francis. Fishing trip hit a snag. Won't stop us. In a Nissan SUV, adventure begins where the road ends. Drive a Nissan SUV. Get 1.9% financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue or get 2.9% financing for 60 months on Pathfinder. Anything else? Yeah, can I get some napkins? Sure. That'll be $1. For a napkin? Ridiculous, right? You know what else doesn't make sense? Some people are still paying for their checking accounts. Some places it's 12 bucks a month. At P1FCU, we believe some things should just be free. Open your Ascend checking with tons of great benefits at p1fcu.org slash free. Residential Home Solutions is excited to announce our Win 24 in 24. You heard that right. Win 24,000 in new windows and entry doors installed by our truly local company. To qualify, you must meet the following. Be a homeowner and live in our region. No purchase is necessary to enter and we provide free estimates to show what you could win. Go to residentialhs.com to enter or call 892-6460. Win 24 in 24 with Residential Home Solutions. Home improvements, custom fit for life. It's time to drive the deal. Wendell Ford has tons of vehicles for you to choose from, so it's time to drive the deal. Escape, 0% for 66 months and up to $2,000 in cash. The versatile Mach-E, 0% for 72 months plus $3,000 in bonus cash. Or America's truck, the F-150, 1.9% for 72 months. And this weekend, get an additional $500 on every trade-in. It's time to drive the deal. This weekend, Wendell Ford at the Y on North Division. Is your car scratched or damaged after the winter weather? Visit American Way Collision Center to get your vehicle summer ready. With over 60 years of experience, their employees make the quality difference. Come visit American Way Collision Center on Francis. 4 News Now is brought to you by Floor and Home by Carpet One. Coming up tonight on Nightside, a warning for travelers. Hackers have found a way to access key cards to open millions of doors at hotels around the world. How researchers are helping to fix the flaw. Here's a look at yours. Weekend forecast, some showers Saturday, more on Sunday, plenty of breaks. Good time to download the 4 News Now first alert weather app so you can watch the radar.
see when you can zip out and walk <laughs> around and stay That's dry. Right. <laughs> and enjoy skiing if you're yes. going. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.